Yes. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to discuss out uh, why we are not able to achieve what we really want in our professional, in our personal, in our whatever uh, role or situation. We want to do a lot of things. We really want to do a lot of things. We are having aspirations. We are having dreams. We are having, uh, you know, uh, zeal to show it off, show the world, and all. But we are not able to succeed. We are not able to do what we want. We want our personal growth, but are we able to do it? Check out your past. You might have thought that you will be doing this. You will be weight. You will be earning, you know, uh, five lakhs a month. You will be. Uh, you know, uh, having a secondary income apart from your personal income, professional income, you always want to do something extra, but you're not able to do it. Every time you resolute, every time you forget, and every time you end up in a mode where you are failing yourself, okay, I'm not getting time, so I'm not doing it. So I'm too busy, I'm not able to do it. There are a lot of external factors which are uh, hampering, which are, you know, uh, pressing me hard uh, not to do it. Now, these all things are your assumption. This is your story, my dear. That's not a fact. Just tell me, yeah, tell, uh, just, you know, you can't tell to me right now because we are into a different kind of communication. But yes, just think of yourself, just think yourself that when you have thought of doing something, something very big, your big uh, idea has came into your mind, it has strike into your mind and you think that this is probably the best thing you can do or something related to health you wanted to do and uh, you want you uh, knew that if I do this, I am going to achieve what I really want. How many times after such an idea or such a thing stroke, you wrote it on paper and you made it a timeline factor is attached to that particular uh, version of your vision or dream or your uh, growth that I am going to do this in X amount of time and this X amount of time is segregated into Y, Z amount of time. I will be completing phase 1 till this time, I will be completing phase 2 till this time and completing phase 3 till this time. I know that 99% of your chance You'll be saying, no, because I have already thought what is the need of writing it and what is, uh, you know, unnecessarily pressurizing ourselves to do it. One percent of time when you really did it, you would have achieved whatever you have wanted. Think yourself that do you know that what are your timelines in terms of next one month, next six months? Next one year, what exactly you are going to do and achieve in this one month, what exactly you are going to do in this next two months, in the next three months, in the next six months, in the next one year. And how often you are monitoring per week basis, although not possible per day basis, maybe per week basis, per fortnight basis, on a month wise basis. Mind you, if you do it and seriously you do it. Whatever idea comes into your mind, either a small or a big, if you want to achieve it, write it on paper. Somewhere. Write it on paper. Do not write it on computer using a keyboard. Because writing it, it on your paper by your own hand has a different effect altogether than writing the same uh, using some notepad and keyboards and all. Write it from your hand, in your diary, keep it somewhere. Wait, wait, wait. Before keeping it somewhere, after writing the idea, make a timeline for that. That you are going to achieve this and 10% will be achieved in next one month, 20% will be achieved in next three months, 50% will be achieved in next six months, 100% will be achieved in next one year, whatever it may be. But the time frame. So two things you need to do. Write it and handwriting. And second, attach a timeline to it and third very very important and in fact the most important everything does not happen anything does not happen only by having an idea you know there are a lot of things that 
grow and think rich. There's nothing as such. You can't grow and think rich unless and until you follow up your thinking. So whatever you have done in your first phase, you have written it. First step achieved. You have made a timeline, phase wise. Second step achieved. And third step, the most important of all the step is follow up. Follow up your timeline on a weekly basis, on a fortnightly basis, on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, on a half yearly basis, depending upon the length of time frame that you have decided. And realign your goals, realign your dreams, realign your projects, realign your thoughts, and see how it is not going to be achieved. I bet you it will be achieved and you only will achieve that and you will not repent saying that I'm not getting time, things are not getting good, I'm not getting uh, resources, whatever it may be. This is your life, the most precious life and the only life you are having. You are not going to get the second life. So use it to the highest potential. Use it for the maximum growth. Use it for the fulfillment of your dreams, desires and be destined. You know, when someone is going to end up his life, Someone has been punished for to be hanged. One question is asked from him or her. What is your last and final wanting? What do you want? One thing. In Hindi, we tell Antim Ikcha. Come on, man. Why Antim Ikcha? You have to complete all those you want, all those things which you desire, dream in this life only, not in other life. So if you want to achieve this, whatever you want in this life, whatever dream in this life, you have to follow a routine, you have to follow a route, you have to follow a guidelines and you knowingly, unknowingly follow these guidelines in your professional life, in your work life, see your office. You follow a timeline. If you want to do something, you write it. You timeline it. You follow it. Targets are assigned. Review meets are done. Alignments is taken. And things are implemented. And results you get. So why don't you do the same thing for your personal growth? If you do the same thing for your personal growth, what under the sun can stop you from achieving it? Nobody under the sun can achieve you from achieving it. If you go behind a rat, as a cat goes, in order to catch it, you have to go for your dreams and desires, like a cat, to achieve it. Nobody under the sun can stop it. Other are standing because you are on your knees. Other are not standing because of some other reason. If you let them happen, it will happen. And if you want to get the things done for yourself, you have to stand. You have to ensure that you are not on your knees. And the thing which will help you in doing this is, I was discussing from last 10 minutes or so. So right now, in this moment, Take a decision that yes, if I want to achieve something personally, professionally, I will follow the golden rule of three steps. Writing, timeline as follow up. My dear friend, you will get it done into your own time frame. You need to direct your conscious and subconscious mind in order to achieve it and unless and see you know uh, your overall behavior is being controlled by your subconscious mind if you 
convince your subconscious mind that yes, I am going to do this and I have to do this in this time frame. Mind it, your subconscious mind will get it done from you. And subconscious mind control the conscious mind. So, go ahead, start doing, start implementing what uh, been now briefed up, discussed up and see things happening.